Fish the full moon in August, they said. It'll be fun, they said. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian. There's that full moon right there that's not helping us a single bit. Um, this is the toughest last four days I've ever experienced on Eagle Lake, which is a very tough lake to begin with, but it has been kicking our butts after an amazing first two days where we got you know three fish over four foot and just so many opportunities. It has been super rough. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're just, we're heading out for second to the last day here. I mean, we've had mid 60 degree water temps. We're seeing some fish. I lost one yesterday, which was just, it really needed that one to kind of get back on the horse. So it is not going our way, people. <laughs> There's been way more days that I've come in and, and uh, not been excited about dumping footage because there's really nothing even there. So hopefully we can change that today though. So we're gonna go give it a shot. Oh, pike. <sighs> I'm glad I saw that. <laughs> Maybe that's a weed tell or something, but all the ones that followed is in the <laughs> Well, those are just little pike. Yeah, those are all just pike. Even though it looked like a 48 inch musky, it's just a little pike. Keep going, keep going. Got him, got him, got him, got him. No, 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 no. It's all right. All right, ready? Yep. Yes! Dude, we got her. Yes! Oh. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> 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 Not giant, but I'll take that. <laughs> well, we finally managed to bumble into one. It's excellent morning. It's the best morning we've had in the last four mornings, so we're gonna take a look at Louis Fish here. Probably what, 42? I'm gonna say, if I have to grab him. Awesome fish, dude. Awesome fish. All right. There we go. <laughs> uh, 43-ish? Yeah, dude, 43, man. Awesome fish, man. Get one last look at her. Very cool. All right. We'll toss her in. Good work, man. There she goes. All right, um, we should get back to casting because if they're going, we got to get another one here. That was a decent one. Yeah. 
yeah they're just they're here they're just not super interested Here we go. Oh, dude, she was hot. Why did you not eat that? Oh, man, oh, man. Yeah. I thought we had a gamer there. Too. Yeah. One of them same. Yep. Frick, dude. Ugh. All right, folks. Well, here's the bait that Louie was throwing. A little single nine killer corn Esox Assault from Chaos Tackle. Um, yeah. Uh, I've been a little bit lazy about talking about what we were using. Uh, just because the fishing's been terrible, it uh, doesn't motivate you. But yeah, this is this got a lot of looks this morning. Um, I had a couple fish up on a 109, and uh, yeah, we fished weeds for a little bit and rocks just recently. And I think we're gonna go in, take a nap, and reboot for the afternoon. Well, after uh, a little bit of lunch and a nap, we're back out after it. Um, not a bad morning. Saw quite a few. Got a nice one. Louie got a nice one finally. And uh, yeah, the wind unfortunately has picked up. Uh, it's better now, but when we drove out this afternoon, it was gnarly. Um, not gonna lie, it was uh, pretty rough out here on Eagle Lake. But we're on a side of the lake that's not getting hit as hard right now. So it should be fairly fishable. And yeah, we're just gonna try a mix of rock and weeds like we usually do. See if we can figure out what the fish are doing because they just seem to change their minds on what they wanna do daily out here. And uh, yeah, most of the time they've got their mindset on not hitting unfortunately, but uh, we're gonna see if we can't coax one into biting one of our baits and putting her in the net so we can take a look at it and show you what one of these beautiful Eagle Lake fish looks like. Uh, I think it's a pike. It feels nice, but yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's pike. Yep. Might be just a hair big. But I suppose we should probably check. Just too big. Nice fish though. Mm -hmm. They have a real pretty purple to them. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, here you go, here you go. She's not hooked very good. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. That was crazy. Dude, she was like ahead of the bait. I didn't know what to do. 
So cool, dude. So cool. I saw her go down, but I didn't yeah. see her hit it, and then I heard dunk. Yeah, she whacked it and like went right into the side of the boat. She unhooked herself, thank goodness. Wow. We needed this fish bad. Louie got one this morning after four days of no muskies. Guys, Eagle Lake can be really tough. It's world-class waters. It's Canada, I know, but if it wants to kick your butt, it can, and it really did to us. But this one is another one of those nice probably like a 44 45 i'm guessing so we're gonna grab her quick and see what we got it's just tough in these big waves come here girl yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <gasps> ouch she just bit me come on come on come on all right i got you now and you got all sorts of neck, don't you? All right. Oh, another beautiful, big, thick Eagle Lake muskie. All right, lady, behave for me, please. It is. 46 and three quarters. All right, all right. Whew. One last look. I'm gonna get her in the water here quick. Oh man, that is a feisty fish. Let's keep an eye on her. There she goes, she's kicking. Whew. Man. It's a cluster out here when the wind blows like this, but those fish sit up on those rocks and you just gotta try to fish for them. So that's what we did. Might just call it a night. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But uh, a 43 for Louie and a 46 and three quarters, that's a good day out here. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Of course that would be the time a fish would follow in. Oh my god. That figures. The one time our that is the one time so far our lines have gotten crossed this entire trip. And there was a fish there. It was right there. It was like, oh hey, I'm gonna bite, I don't know, I'm gonna bite something. Yep. Are you kidding me? You know, you'll have that on those big jobs. Son of a con. Uh, all right, folks. Well, a bit of a daffy end to the night there. I got too excited about fishing this reef and sort of forgot to tell Louie which direction it was. So our lines got a little crossed. And of course, that's when a muskie would hit. Why not? That's what they do. You can make thousands and thousands of perfect casts, and that one time you're not paying attention or something dumb happens, that's when they show up. So quintessential musky behavior. Uh, but we did put two nice fish in the boat. Louis 43. I managed a 46 and a half that just went ballistic. It was bizarre. That thing was almost ahead of the bait. And when I figure eight it, it just, it went absolutely ballistic. So uh, really cool though. Uh, we've got one day left of this and uh, a lot of wind coming. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll see. We're gonna try like heck to fish somewhere though. If it's not here, maybe one of the other local lakes, but we're gonna try to get out on Eagle, I think. So with that, we gotta get back in and uh, dump this footage, eat some food, get rested up because we've got one more day. So for every one of you that watches this mess, I appreciate it so very much. And I'll see you on the next video.